What's going on YouTube? I am here in the garage. Please excuse the mess. Uh, I'm in the process of organizing. Yeah, that'll get done eventually. I got other things to do though. So that being said, let's get it done. So this is the boat's current condition. These were the seats that were in the boat. All I did was swap those out, kept the same existing swivel base. These are all the connectors I'll be using. It's all marine grade heat shrink. And then I got the heat shrink here, duplex wire. This is the switch panel that I'll be using. I'm gonna have that installed just on the other side of this wall, right there. I'm just reinforcing these floors because they were all rotted out. Uh, it is still dirty, but it is much better. I'm gonna be doing a, redoing the gel coat. It is all pretty cracked. As you can see, I just took a little Dremel over here, got started. All I've done so far is clean the carbs, flush the fuel system, change the spark plugs, and then just uh, cleaning up, basically cleaning and lubing. I have the paint for it. Oh, the top is pretty bad right here. So I'm gonna do like a before and after photo. I'm just gonna focus on this one corner and I'm gonna do that one day. And just to see if I get any traction on that because I plan to do a good job, obviously. Um, I'm gonna be doing a complete trailer restoration as well. It's a bit rusted. I'm gonna redo the wiring. It's just the uh, halogen bulbs or whatever type of bulbs there are. They're not LED and one of them doesn't blink. I'm going to rewrap the boards if they're savable. If not, I'm going to get some pressure treated board and then uh, reapply those. I have paint. It's going to be Kingston Gray. Uh, links in the description for all the parts I'm going to be using, by the way. I got the Total Boat uh, Wet Edge, and that is Kingston Gray. And that's going to go nice. I'm going to keep the top white, and then I'm going to have the gray inside as well with all gray accessories. The boat's name is going to be 50 Shades of Haze Gray. This is uh, dirty because I'm working on it actively. Um, just reinforcing the floor underneath. Those were all rotted. The wiring on this boat is absolute chaos. I was getting intermittent uh, power issues. I think it's a connection somewhere. Um, my speedometer doesn't work. The tack does. The hour meter does work, uh, but the glass faceplate came off while I was trying to get it off. Uh, so I bought a new one, and I'll, I'll figure out how to align those hours. <laughs> and yeah, I'm gonna redo all the wiring. Everything's gonna be flush up underneath. Everything's gonna be tucked. There's gonna be no exposed wires except for in the back. This is the cable that's gonna be coming from the battery to the uh, terminal block, fuse block. And that is eight gauge wire. I got black and I have red. Black is here. Uh, this is that mesh wire sleeve I was telling you about. I'm going to have that wrapped around here. And I'm going to have it go all the way through here. This is just absolute mess. But it's coming along nicely. I've already taken her out. She rides nice. Uh, I rode her rough to see if she could take it. And she did. So anyways, that's it for now. Appreciate you stopping by. Stick around, I'll always be working on something, whether it's this boat, my truck. So please stick around and I'll help you guys out. So this is a cool little idea. Uh, I haven't seen anybody do it, but I'm not certain that it, someone hasn't done it. I just kind of threw it together out of some plywood uh, and some foam that I had. All right, but it just goes on top of a nice chest, right? I have it all sealed. Um, but then I just used a hole saw Cut out some holes that were the same width as the cup holders. And it goes in there and it now you got yourself a little bench seat. And it's pretty comfortable. Um, that is going to go here. And that provided a bench seat. Yeah, I think I might have bought this pedestal for no reason. I was originally planning on doing some kind of board system that I could take out and remove. So I would just have a board running across and then I would have a little like two, one by two that would go right there and just kind of snap in. And then the same on this side and it would be able to slide this way 
you know, but it's not going to move this way. But tested it out and I don't have anything thick enough and wide enough that would support my weight out there in the middle without being supported and I don't want to have to make it a big bulky piece of equipment so I might end up doing that in here somewhere or just using it on the next boat because once I get this one nice I'm gonna sell it and I'm gonna get something else and work on it I'm gonna work my way up to a very very nice boat well that's the plan anyways I almost forgot to mention if you like my content please subscribe uh, brand new it'll help me out get viewed get noticed I'd appreciate any help I can get. Thanks. What's going on? It's Mr. Mitchell, and you're watching Disney Channel.